Hey guys, welcome to my next tutorial, and this is going to be the part two to the tip series that I was going to do. So, a lot of people have actually asked me about, and I know it's not the best way to work around with trees and terrains and things, but before we had to make sure that we had, if you look down here, we had to make sure that choppable trees were renamed for every item that we duplicated. Now I did a tutorial on the bushes quite recently and we didn't have to do anything like that to collect the objects so I went and revised the um, tree chopping script and doing it the similar way to how I will program the bushes we can make sure that when we duplicate a tree it, we don't have to actually rename the um, the trees itself so therefore it's not as a tedious way for you to actually make your trees. I know it's still not the best and you can't do it from the terrain editor. I've not really looked into that because I think that'll be more complicated. But this should save people a lot of time so people don't have to rename 300 trees between 1 and 300 and so on. So hopefully, you know, this helps everybody out. And remember, with programming, you can sit there for 10 hours and never work out something or... Um, you can sit there all day and try and work something out and it'll never happen. You come back another day, spend an hour and you can work, work it out. It's just one of those things. So hopefully this helps everybody out. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open up the Raycast Chop script in MonoDevelop. And when you've opened it up, you'll notice that we had a Raycast looking for some game objects and things like that. Now... The difference is, if I go into the other script that we had, that we did with the Raycast Collect script for the bush that we had, if I go all the way down to the way we find the collider, which is bush, what we did was we set a variable at the top, and then we looked initially when the Raycast happens, before we even clicked anything, we wanted to hit the collider, and then we find the game object that we're looking at. And then when we press a button, it will set that game object and look for the script on it, and then do it accordingly, which is slightly different to how we did it before, because we were looking at the game object name, rather than the actual game object itself. So, a simpler way to do it, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly revise this script. I'm going to comment out this top section there, and then we're going to write a new variable, and call it tree as type game object with a semicolon. We'll save that. Then inside the if collider game object equals tree, what we're going to do is we're going to comment out the tree script equals game object dot find and that line where you, where you can delete it after to comment it out, but I always like to leave it just so that you knew what you've done before. Then we're going to say tree equals open brackets hit dot collider dot game object close that up with a semicolon and then within the if statement what we're going to do is we're going to comment out that section where it says tree script dot tree health but this time we're going to say tree dot get component open brackets tree controller because that's what we were looking for before up here tree controller and here we were looking for tree controller Close that up and then we'll say dot like here dot tree health minus equals one and we can save that out. Now if we go back into Unity it should have updated our script on the main camera. You can check because now you've got tree on there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my game objects and I'm gonna delete the names of the trees. So when I had one, two and three, I'll just make sure that they're all named tree choppable and then what I'm going to do for testing sake I'm going to have health tree health as one for each of the trees because we don't want to have to cut down too much so I'll just save those and I'll duplicate them a couple more times just so that you can see what's going on so I'll put that one roughly there and there so what we'll do is we'll test the game and you'll notice that if I, when I've set all the trees to a health of one, when we hit it once, it will fall. So we hit that tree and it'll fall down where we expected. And then produce the items that we wanted. I'll hit this tree. But you see I'm just hitting random trees, you know, to show that it actually works properly. Obviously that tree fell down again. But that log went straight into the water. And hit this tree 
that one's doing the same thing and hit this one so you can see we can duplicate as many trees as we want and it'll always be the exactly the same way that we did it before so so you can see with these slight code tweaks just having a variable of game object which we fill with the game object um, itself when we hit the collider looking for it and then we'll get the component from that object we've just found and that will make the game not just um, easy for you to rename the objects or duplicate as many trees as you want but we'll also make it more efficient because we don't have to use game object .find. so I hope this helped people out and I hope it, you know, it gives you one step further to make a slightly more refined game so again thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers